Hey, it's the Chief Bonding with Board Games, and I have a little something sent to me from Hack and Slash Games out of Texas. Now, I got an email and said, would you like to try Ophidian, I think I'm pronouncing that right, 2060? And immediately I thought, I think I have this. And I started looking around, and I actually have all these little card games right near my computer, but they were Ophidian 23. 50, not 2360. And I immediately remembered that these had been a free giveaway, I think, at BGGCon in 2015, if I remember right. And they were a collectible card game. So I was a little bit cautious. My son, I was never into collectible card games. He loves Pokemon, and we do battle. But I asked, I have 2350. How is 2360 different? So I want to show you what it looks like. And it's a non-collectible card game. Um, they told me they did a complete overhaul, although these are still compatible, but there's some new iconography, some revised rules. Um, and I think that's about it. But let me show you real quick. And I'll go in a little tighter, but I want to show you just a few things. Still in a little bit of a prototype stage here. Everything else looks final, uh, but I was told these were the final, final rules. So we're still kind of at that level, which is totally fine with me. And what it is, is it's a future gladiatorial type combat, but set in 2360. So you've got, from what I can tell, some cyborg looking stuff. Um, and so I can get it right, it's called this ECG, expandable card game, non-collectible and ready to play. So I got these, these uh, three different deck sets that each have two each. So we got six coming in, uh, some dice that came in, some extra little fancy bits. There are some little card packs that, that look very collectible. So I'll have to, oh, well those are cool. Those are 23, 2350s that go with this. I hadn't seen that. So that's kind of neat. But here is something else I liked in my boy, who's 10. Love this. Was just to give you a little bit of a visual feel. And I wanted to show this in this format. Usually, if I'm doing like an unboxing, I'll just zoom in. But I wanted to kind of show what that looked like because, quite honestly, that's visually stunning. Hopefully, you can still hear me with that up there. And that is it. And the president is Robert Schofkum. Sh so we're going to go in on this one. And I'm just going to zoom in, take a little bit closer look, just spend a little bit longer on it. And I'm going to be playing it with my son, hopefully over a week or two. Regular day job has been busy, busy, busy. But we'll get it played. Maybe a few other different people as well. And then I'll come back and do a review on it. This will just be a little bit of a closer look. All right, so I've taken the neoprene mats out of their uh, plastic. We'll kind of zoom in. I think you get a pretty good feel, although it looks a little warmer in person than what I got going on here. I'll zoom in on these in a second, just to kind of give you an overview. But what's really interesting so far is victory points. This area over here says cheer. Remember, it's gladiatorial combat, so interesting. And then this is resources. All right, I'm zooming in just so you can take a quick look. You can see kind of what the actions are. And then we've got things that cost and can't be maintained at all in a discard pile. Then you got what must be powers that are described there, the strategy deck. And again, this is the resource. And then we come over to uh, the steps of the breather. I've not read the rules yet, but again, I kind of like how everything's laid out here. Here's your gladiatorial stack. Interesting. This whole survival of the fittest deal. The funeral pyre. Wow. The artwork. My boy zoomed in on this already. This guy's taking some damage. So I'm really enjoying the artwork. So do my son. Let me show you this other mat. And the richness. I mean, I just, I feel like I'm looking at a movie there. And that cape, especially right up here, is even, even more sharp in person. Uh, so as nice as it is, it feels like it's not doing it full justice. There, it looks a little bit better, actually. 
You can see he's got this spear. So I'm loving the artwork. All the same information, your iconography, um, your resources, your cheer over there. So that's all the same, of course. Just wanted to give you a look. And then I'm going to use this mat, zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to show you the rules first. And then we'll go through the packs, and it should be pretty quick. So I was told to definitely use this. Don't look up any PDFs or anything that this was the most final version. Uh, what amazed me was, um, obviously it'll probably be condensed down, not in this format, or at least it'll be in a book. But it's one-sided, and everything's fairly straightforward. I haven't read it all yet. I kind of glance through. Um, easy to read if they keep this kind of space theme in the background with the uh, white text. It was great. Love the big splash pages. Um, if you guys change this, don't skimp. Don't make this smaller. I love seeing it where it's, you know, real size and uh, everything's kind of pointed out. And then there's uh, rules reference cards that are supposedly, I believe, in here. I haven't even looked at these yet. But that is simple, simple, simple. So we're going to get right into one of these decks. So we've got uh, Ophidian 2360. Again, Survival of the Fittest. Mental Block deck, 56 cards. And a Warrior's Resolve deck, 56 cards. Um, again, I know nothing. Comes out like so. Huh. Okay, so we got a little opening here, glossary, playing cards, ready to rumble. Boy, these sure look like they could be final rules, but again, I was told the ones that kind of came in in the summary would be the ones to use. Let me open these up real quick. All right, zipping those out took a bet. All right, so a rules reference card, resource tracker. Okay, interesting. Goes up to 19. Obviously, I think having the pad is a lot better. So let's take a look here. Ragnarok. Now, I'm going to zip through these just because I've got so many decks. But I wanted to give the visual feel so you can see the art. And again, I haven't gone through the rules. This is, again, more of an unboxing and a display. Well, a little different. I like most of the art here as we're going through. Interesting. So again, I'm going to zip through these. That is very cool. I love the big beast. First time seeing the deck. Go through the other one. So again, the same peel off here. We'll set these down. Soul Cleaver. Hmm. Make sure I keep my focus. And again, I'm going to roll through these pretty quick. Hmm. That's a nice shot. Beautiful. Out to lose them. Seen a few that are the same. Hmm. Okay, that's a little weird. <laughs> I have to come back and explain that. Love that. Love it. That's very cool as well. It's hmm, a nice action shot. So again, it looks like there's a couple different artists involved, but a nice feel overall. When I'm all done too, what I'm gonna do is show you uh, what these decks look like. I don't even think I've unboxed these before. So we'll take a look at that in a bit. 
All right, the Art of War and the Otherworld Allies deck with some freaky looking eyes. My boy was like, what? So let's see. All right, get those out of the way. And again, very cool. Huh. We're going to roll through. Give you a feel for the art. There, hey, look who matches. Hello. Nice cape. I actually wouldn't mind if you saw that, although that's pretty cool if they generated all new art. The player mat. Not a bad idea. So again, all I know is it's a gladiatorial type combat system. To be honest with you, I actually like the whole gladiator setting. Roll through here. Again, rolling quick. Ugh. Pom poms again. All right, the other side of this. A little bit darker feel there. Hello. It's like he's beating you with a spinal column. Yeah. Nice shot. There's the freaky one. Woo. All right, again, I'm going to roll through these pretty quick. Now you guys are being patient. You can see some duplicates that have come through from other decks. I've got one more deck or double deck of cards to go. And then I do want to look at uh, some of these 2350 and just kind of see what, uh, what their cards look like. I don't know what these color schemes are either. But I like the visual layout. Okay. Alright, we got War Machine and Biohazard. Alright, peel these off. And... Nice look, I like that. Huh. Sorry, try to keep the glare off. Hmm. Nice green splash. Sorry, that got my attention. That's cool. It's a cool deck. I'm going to feel the card quality here in a second. I got to admit, I wasn't really paying attention. That's cool. I like the shot. I like the look and feel of this deck, and I don't even know. There's Weird Pom Pom Girl again. Okay. Minion Cheerleader. That's still a little freaky to me, but... Funny. Let me see card. Uh, slick, glossy on this side. Nice. I actually had noticed those were double-sided early on. Thought they were all going to be backed. Okay. Maybe different main fighters. Again, sorry, I have to get the rules. I haven't been looking at that. Seems pretty good. I wouldn't say top of the line, but I am no super card expert on white core, black core, or any of the core. So, well, not even the Marine Corps. Sorry, I was in the Army. So, let me get this. All right, if I've held you this long, you are interested in the game. And again, I am going to open the 2350 box. Probably not both of them. I just want to get a little comparison on what the art looks like. I may open one of the little collectible card foils they sent as well. I know nothing about this deck, but it, uh, it's still striking, but uh, that other one, although I like that. That's cool. Let's 
See if we see cheerleader again. No cheerleader. Uh, we do get, uh, came with uh, the dice and then uh, these little kind of bejeweled glass pieces which I'm sure are used to track your different areas around on your mat, I would assume. Uh, threw in some what's called rage tokens. Um, kind of cool little purple bling that I'm sure you throw down on your card or something. I have no idea. Uh, there were a couple of these little guys. Which looks like the new obsidian art. Yeah. So I'm not going to open those right now. But let's just open one of these from the collectible. This is the 2350. So this is the collectible card game. Again, this is not collectible. This is from these packs that I had. And I want to see, if I can get it open, how the art compares. Again, it's compatible, but the iconography is a little bit different. Well, you can see the upgrade in the art already. Yeah, the layout's better. This art is a lot more cartoony. That's the right phase phrase. So, I mean, you can see your layout different here as well. Again, don't know how it all runs. The black border here looks nice. So layout's good. So I am not going to go through and open all of these and show you, but I wanted to wanted to see what they look like. Cool. Aphidian 2360. An ECG. Is that what they called it? Yes. An ECG expandable card game. Non-collectible. These are challenge sets. Booyah! Booyah!